So, Dula Peep. Love her or hate her, Wendy Williams was once one of the queens of celebrity news and gossip. Off the back of her successful radio show and hosting career, Wendy Williams earned her own talk show, The Wendy Williams Show, that has run 13 seasons strong. But even a casual Wendy watcher will tell you that the past few years have been rocky and Wendy's personal life has become worthy of a slot on Hot Topics. Let's get into the weird world of Wendy Williams and some of the trouble she's faced the past few years. In March of 2019, Wendy shocked her co-host by admitting she was currently living in a sober living facility. Wendy was always open about her struggles with addiction, but hadn't recently mentioned she was struggling or had relapsed, so her revelation was surprising. Wendy explained that after she was done taping her show and going to meetings, she would return to the facility and was driven around by a sober coach in between. She was welcomed and accepted by the others living there, saying that her celebrity status didn't matter to them. Life could be worse. No, not really. This is the worst. This is the worst. This is the worst. Mm -hmm. Wendy announced all of this after having previously been on hiatus for a couple months. In her absence, guest hosts like Nick Cannon and Jerry O'Connell filled in for her. Wendy stated that she was absent due to complications with Graves' disease and a fractured shoulder, but many speculated that it was due to either problems in Wendy's marriage or because she had relapsed. Wendy's family said that she was focusing on her health and well-being as she had fainted on air on Halloween that previous year. Upon her return, Wendy confirmed that her ex-husband, Kelvin, aka Kevin Hunter, fathered a child outside of their marriage earlier that year. For years, there had been rumors that Kevin was cheating, and Wendy unconvincingly shut the rumors down each time. On her show, Wendy finally confirmed the rumors and announced that she would be filing for divorce after 21 years of marriage. Wendy unfortunately did not have a prenup as she said she thought her marriage would never end. Kevin also had acted as her manager during their marriage and therefore had been on Wendy's payroll. This wasn't the first time Hunter had cheated on Wendy, however she had said him fathering a child outside of the marriage was the ultimate deal breaker. According to Wendy, Kevin and his mistress Sharina had been together for 15 years and Wendy had mostly been aware of it. Should she suffer? All right, clap if you think she should suffer. About her decision to go to the sober facility, Wendy said, I'd done my detective work. I knew what was about to happen, and I was like, let me go someplace where you're not allowed to have the whole bottle of wine. When you see your husband's mistress with a burgeoning belly and you're a blabbermouth on TV with a successful show, you know what's about to happen. I needed to go someplace quiet. Wendy again confirmed the baby news in an interview with Sway in the Morning, saying that Sharina had given birth in early January of 2019 and that she'd wish her divorce would come sooner. After her marriage had ended, Wendy often talked on her show about being a happily single woman who was casually dating and open to eventually marrying again. She was pictured with younger men and often spoke on her show about dates that she had gone on. Clap if you care. <laughs> clap, if you, clap if you care. Wendy told her co-host about a few casual relationships and at one point posted about a new boyfriend. The relationship was short-lived. Throughout it all, Wendy constantly made jabs at her ex-husband on her show and made off-handed comments as usual and displayed odd behaviors that made fans start to whisper that Wendy was on the decline. Look, I don't know what's going on. I don't know you're gonna, who you're gonna, uh, <laughs> In July of 2019, Wendy Williams announced that she had been diagnosed with lymphedema after months of her ankles being noticeably swollen. The condition left her unable to wear heels and she began to make her designer sneakers a large feature on her show. Throughout the fall of 2019 and much of 2020, fans began to worry that Wendy had relapsed. Despite moving out of the sober house in April, clips of Wendy slurring her speech went viral and fans began to express concern. And I insist that you knock on the door and act a fool. Like, who are you? Where's Danielle? And then maybe sucker punches you in the face and yokes up in the corner. You know, two old men fighting, but not really fighting. No one wants to break anything. And the understanding is that, Morty, you're not going to get her back. Her eyes were noticeably vacant, and she seemed unable to deliver information accurately. Don't be afraid of Cornova. Mm -hmm. Don't let it dominate your life. Sir, we are here. 
out in the field. We are frightened of Cornova. During much of 2020, Wendy filmed her show from home and she seemed to look exhausted and behaved bizarrely. Yeah, here I am. Here we are. Yes, another week, a manic Monday. We're powering through together. You know, um, I'm still having a good time. I hate to sound happy about it, but I'm loving this life. What was that? She cried often, including during one emotional rant where she expressed her concern for frontline workers. Though she never publicly admitted the cause of the slurring, social media speculated between a relapse and a mental breakdown or a combination of both. Throughout the year, Wendy continued to include her co-host and in on her dating life and tease she had a project coming that would answer a lot of the public's questions about her personal life. Through it all, Wendy continued to poke her nose in other people's lives and rain judgment upon them. How dare you, Mr. Spears? You had me fooled. And you too, Mrs. Spears. Death to all of them. Oh. Her own personal situation seemed like it didn't make her any more sympathetic to others. The only apparent change seemed to be Wendy's bitterness towards those in happy marriages. Wendy Williams always had a loving and joking relationship with her show's DJ, DJ Booth. They bonded over music and fashion, and Booth often accompanied Wendy to events in her new life, aka her life after her divorce. It came as a shock in the fall of 2020 when in-person tapings of the show resumed and Booth was absent. He had been replaced by DJ Sus1. Though Wendy never specifically said why Booth left the show, Booth made some implications of his own. He implied that his exit was due to some of the same concerns fans had had about Wendy's odd behavior and the fact that she wasn't taking care of herself. Fans suggested Wendy's spiraling behavior was probably why Booth left the show. Booth confirmed these speculations by saying, Yup, exactly, and it will all come out. Y'all have no idea what's really going on and everyone there is afraid to speak up because they don't want to lose their jobs. This is going to play out bad. And we, we answer all those calls on the podcast. 888 eight, eight, Barbara? Got it. I'll expect to hear from you tonight. You'll hear from me right after you uh, go back there. I feel sorry for the workers and victims. Booth never clarified his comment further and never stated who Wendy's alleged victims were. His allegations that Wendy's camp was enabling her behavior sounded similar to concerns from fans who wondered how Wendy could be allowed to record a show while appearing totally out of it. Online bloggers speculated that Wendy's alcohol abuse led her to act inappropriately toward DJ Booth and that urged him to cut ties with Wendy as well. In January of 2021, Wendy Williams premiered a biopic and a documentary on Lifetime. Despite her negative track record with biopics, Wendy promised fans hers would be raw and real, and the accompanying documentary would be an unfiltered look behind the scenes into Wendy's career and her public struggles the past couple years. Wendy revealed that during her childhood, she struggled with EDs. First grade to um, senior year in high school, so I was stuck with him. And he made up a song about me, and I'm not gonna cry, but I feel like it inside. You wanna hear the song? Yeah. Okay. Shh. Wendy Williams is a fat whale. Oh. Yeah. Wendy Williams is a fat whale. And also talked about her drug misuse that threatened to end not only her successful radio career, but also her life. The documentary titled Wendy Williams, What a Mess was intended to be a more honest look at some of the events the biopic embellished. In her documentary, Williams mentioned her ex-manager slash ex-husband Kevin slowly began to cut people out of her life. Kevin was verbally abusive towards Wendy and his constant arguments with her staff eventually got him banned from Wendy's radio show. Wendy, along with many others in her life during the marriage, claimed that Kevin Hunter was emotionally abusive. Wendy recalled a time when she started a production meeting for the Wendy Williams show without Kevin in attendance. He usually attended every production meeting, but since he was running late, Wendy started without him. When Kevin arrived and found out the meeting proceeded without him, he was furious and he shattered a glass table. Because of behaviors like this, many wondered whether the fractured shoulder Wendy suffered from in 2019 could have possibly been caused by Kevin. Amidst conflicts in her professional life, Wendy's personal life was also still a mess. In December of 2020, Wendy sadly announced on her show that her mother Shirley had passed away the previous month. My mother, she's like, Wendy, you got them, they're long, you show them. She also talked me into picking out this outfit today.
she's also died. Yeah. She and her mother had a close relationship as her parents often visited tapings of the show and Wendy and her son Kevin Jr. often visited Wendy's parents in Florida. Wendy talked fondly about her mother in episodes and gave shout outs to her parents on the show. Amidst her mourning, Wendy found herself in a feud with her brother Tommy. Tommy took to the internet to criticize Wendy for not coming to her mother's funeral. He posted multiple videos to YouTube speaking ill about her and telling the world that even Wendy's ex-husband Kevin attended the funeral that Wendy had allegedly skipped. Wendy took to her own show to address her brother's antics and request he keep family matters private and stop trying to stir up drama on the internet. Wendy attempted to shut down her brother's chaotic behavior by insinuating that he was gay on her TV show. He's pegging me to be a person that I am not. Honey, you don't want me to start pegging you to be the person that you are. By the way, do you like my dress, Tommy? Yeah. He would like a dress like this. <laughs> Wendy admitted that she probably had more positive feelings towards her cheating ex-husband than she did for her own brother. In September of 2021, it was announced that Wendy had gotten ill and been hospitalized. Others on the Wendy Williams Show staff quarantined and the official Instagram page stated the season 13 premiere would be postponed until October 4th. However, the day before, Wendy had been hospitalized for a psych evaluation. Wendy had been struggling with her mental health for some time and she was admitted voluntarily. An insider claimed that Wendy had been drinking daily, including during her last season of The Wendy Williams Show. This would explain the slurred speech. An inside source said, It has been a very difficult time for Wendy. She's a single woman with very few friends. She's lost her marriage, her mom, and is living alone. There's a lot on her plate. Wendy was seen looking unwell as she returned from the hospital, and she continued to recover at home and attempt to look after her mental health. Wendy's relationship with her son Kevin Jr. soured, and it was claimed that Kevin Jr. gave Wendy the ultimatum that either she get her life together or he would no longer be part of it. Despite all of this, the show maintained that Wendy's absence was due to ongoing complications with Graves' disease. Wendy's lymphedema were also getting worse, and Wendy was often seen in a wheelchair. In November, a rumor circulated that Williams was suffering from early onset dementia, which Wendy Watcher speculated could also be an explanation for her odd on-air behavior. Despite her ongoing absence from the show, her brother Tommy stated that he wasn't aware of any concerns regarding Wendy's mental health. Tommy said he and his father routinely checked up on Wendy and to their knowledge, Wendy's struggles were physical, not mental. The Wendy Williams show eventually went on in Wendy's absence and celebrity guest hosts filled in. The Ricky Smiley Morning Show reported Wendy had lost all blood flow and circulation in her legs. These claims were refuted when Wendy was seen walking out of a wellness center in December of 2021. Despite this relatively good news, rumors circulated that the Wendy Williams show was soon to be canceled. Sherry Shepard seemed to shoe in for replacing Wendy as she was a well-liked stand-in and she had previous daytime experience from hosting The View. Wendy continued to deny rumors that she would be fired or replaced from the Wendy Williams show. Days before Christmas, the Wendy Williams show announced the show's return after the holidays would be postponed until January of 2022 to protect the health of Wendy, the staff, and audiences. The show was intended to resume with live episodes on January 10th, and Sherry would host some of the episodes, and celebrity guest hosts would host on other days as well. The show officially announced that Wendy Williams would not return at all to host in the early part of 2022. Regardless, Wendy said her health was on the mend and encouraged fans to look forward to more Wendy stuff in the coming year. Still, fans speculated that Wendy would continue to delay her return and would never end up returning to the show. Though Wendy Williams is a controversial figure, it's hard to not have sympathy for her as she's gone through a lot in the past few years. Some would say it's karma for how terribly Wendy has spoken about others or that her public shaming is just a taste of her own medicine. Regardless, no one deserves to be abused physically or mentally, and her husband's actions affect the son that they share, not just Wendy. It is hypocritical that Wendy has been extremely vague and dishonest about what's been going on in her private life, despite happily exposing others' private business to the public and making fun of it. Hopefully, Wendy's been humbled by the way her life appears to be turning out. I don't believe she deserves this treatment or to have health issues, but it is a great lesson in not talking so badly about other people when she wasn't much better off. I hope Wendy doesn't feel pressured to continue the show, because to be honest, it's been declining in quality anyway since Wendy Williams started to deteriorate right in front of our eyes. 
I don't want the show to continue without Wendy because it's just not the Wendy Williams show without Wendy Williams. I think Wendy should officially step down and focus on her health and take up a career that's less public and less stressful. Wendy Williams has already cemented her place in daytime television history and I think it's better that she ends on a high note or at the very least doesn't seek any lower than where she is now. If you like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and give me suggestions on who I should talk about in my next one. Thank you guys so much for watching.